evening. This week, Belmont University said it would be merging with the Watkins College of Art. And as News 4's Joshua Cole found out tonight, the move has many students there very concerned for what this means with the university's many policies. This is the art installation that students are using to defend their school, Watkins College of Art, as they and faculty are waiting for answers as their school announces it's merging with Belmont. I don't think that it's fair to Watkins students that chose to go to Watkins for a specific reason to not have the faculty go over with them. Milo is among the many students using art to express their worries about their school joining Belmont and the land being sold. To me, it's, it wasn't the best experience for me. Amari, who just transferred from Belmont, says students and faculty feel they were left in the dark. Students are fighting for these concerns, largely focused around LGBTQ plus rights and fear that their art will be censored with Belmont's policies and religious focus. Gender inclusive housing, safe restroom access, um, whether or not trans students are going to be dead named on their student IDs. When I was there, I couldn't really do the artwork that I felt needed to be done by myself. Watkins College has been around for 135 years in Nashville. Their president, Dr. Jay Klein, said in this week's announcement, many smaller schools like theirs have suffered economically, and the merger was needed. While Belmont's president, Dr. Bob Fisher, has told students their mission is to help see them graduate, students like Milo and Amari don't know what their futures will look like in a year. I learned so much just in one semester alone. Faculty that were here tonight that I talked with said that they don't know exactly what will happen with their jobs yet at this time. That will be decided by the universities in the coming weeks. We reached out to the school's administration but have not heard back at this time. In Nashville, I'm Joshua Cole, News 4.